top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Timpers here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a glowing pixel art overlay in Photoshop. It's really, really easy to do. Um, I'll be basically just showing you um, the process that I go through when making a glowing overlay and it's actually really easy like I said and looks really nice on your streams I'll be doing loads of different styles of pixel art overlays but this is going to be the first one to the collection um, if we break 100 likes I'll release a template to this in the description description so yeah let's hit that guys subscribe if you're new um, and yeah let's just get straight into it right guys so we're here in Photoshop so this is actually what we will be creating I've recorded this tutorial twice and each time something wrong something's gone wrong <laughs> it's pretty crazy but yeah this is something that we will be making in today's video so it's very very simple but very very nice and yeah watch this tutorial if you do want to get something like this done and have really nice overlays on your stream so yeah go to create new go to and set it to 3840 by 2160 um, and we're just going to go to image image size and bring it down to 384 by 216 make sure it's set to nearest neighbor hard edges at the bottom as well press enter and we're just going to zoom in so this size um, is you'll be working with quite a lot of pixels you can always de uh, make this smaller make it by like 256 by 144 that's a nice size but I like to work with a lot of pixels um, since I want to make it quite detailed so what you want to do is go to the rectangle tool and just click on the screen and we're gonna make this 256 by 144 which is the size of like a face cam overlay so it can fit perfectly in you can always decrease the size um, by control T and holding down shift and alt but I'll just keep it as it is like that you want to right click on it rasterize and control click on the thumbnail and go to select modify contract and you want to contract it by about six that's um, perfect for this because it's not too thin or too thick you can always like change um, the thickness of it by moving the number up and down like maybe do five depends how many pixels you're working with but for the amount of pixel I'm work pixels I'm working with this is fine so what you want to do is straight off the bat to maybe add a bit of to stylize this and make it different you can always like make the corners curved by doing that you want to erase erase the corners do about three pixels then add three more on the inside make sure that it's set to 100 opacity um, and yeah just add three more pixels you can do it top right as well but I might do it bottom right just to change it up I'll do three on the inside and then erase three on the outside and it should look like that so the next thing you're gonna want to do is we, we need to add some texture to it so that the glows because it's a glowing overlay we want the glows to have some sort of textured background to work with so you want to go to white and bring down the opacity of it to about 30 percent maybe 35 and this is why it's easier if you've got a tablet but if you don't have a tablet you can still do this just take your time with it but I'm gonna go really quickly and you want to just click and and create loads of different basically shades of white I'm gonna do like half of it and then duplicate it across because I don't want to waste your time and go all the way around but it would be better to go, go all the way around but since this, this is a tutorial I'm just gonna duplicate it across for you guys but yeah as you can see the more you click the brighter the lines will get so just do what I'm doing right here and take your time with it you can always pause the video and just keep going all the way along like so I'm just gonna go to halfway and yeah duplicate it across so just do something like this and it looks a bit weird at the moment but once you do bring down the opacity of it in a second it looks really really nice yeah so you just want to do something like this and have brighter areas and darker areas Let's just duplicate it with Control J, right click, create clipping mask and Control T, flip horizontal and press enter and just drag it across to the other side and make sure it's perfectly in. And then we can just merge them two together by pressing Control E and bring down the opacity of it to about 40%. 
and then you can just merge that all together now. Next thing we're going to do is add a new layer, create a clipping mask and choose a colour that you want to do. Uh, you want a colour that you want the glows to be. So I'm going to go with blue, just like the um, example I showed at the beginning. And you just want to create some sort of shape in the corner, make sure it's on 100 opacity at the top. And we're going to do that, maybe a, something like that and then that, oops, like that. And then what you want to do is add a new layer, create clipping mask, go to white and then you can either click in the middle and do that and have the glow on the inside or do this and have the glow on the outside which is what I'm going to do and just bring down the opacity of that to something like 50%, 50% is perfect I think and then you just want to press ctrl E to merge it all together and now what we're going to do is press ctrl J, ctrl T, flip horizontal, right click flip horizontal, press enter and just drag it to the opposite side and just do this all the way around so I'm just going to press ctrl J and flip vertical press enter, drag down to the bottom and use the arrow keys to get it perfectly in place and then finally ctrl J and flip it horizontal and drag that to the other side and then use the arrow keys to get it directly in the middle and then you can just merge all of them together by pressing ctrl E then add a new layer, create clipping mask and go to the brush tool, set it to blue or whatever colour you're using and you want it to be around 50 pixels and press caps so you can get the little cross and you can click directly in the centre that way and just click in the centre of each one and we're going to set that to screen you can set it to colour dodge as well but I prefer screen and you want to make it around 35% and you can uh, merge that together by pressing ctrl E Add a new layer again and create clip clipping mask and set it to white. Make sure you're on the brush again and let's bring down the size quite a bit and click in the center of each little glowing area. And you want to set that to overlay. And I'm just going to leave that as it is because that looks really nice. Then what you want to do is add a new layer, create clipping mask, then go to the pencil tool and bring down the opacity of the pencil brush to about 35 and this is where we can add particles to the overlay that are going to be glowing and the reason we have it at a low opacity is so that when we click we can have different shades of white so one and we'll have just one pixel of that color uh, that shade sorry and if you press twice and it'll be a bit brighter so yeah you just want to go all the way around and change it up sometimes it can you can click a load of times and make it really white sometimes just once you know just switch it up and just yeah just have some will be closer than others to each other you might have like a cluster of, of quite a few like so or you might just have one on its own so yeah I just want to go all the way around and mix it up basically and then once it's done it'll look really really nice so take your time with it, I'm going quite quick like I said you can always pause the video well I don't know if I said, I don't know if I've already said that I might have said that last video, like I said I've already <laughs> I've already recorded this video twice but yeah I'm going to set that to overlay and if it's not as bright as you wanted it to be you can always press ctrl J to duplicate it and then create clipping mask and leave it like that I think the original looks fine for me and then what you want to do is just merge all them together with ctrl E and now we're just going to add some colour corrections so go to brightness and contrast brightness down contrast up then go to colour curves bring this up and then this down then go to exposure bring up the exposure a bit and the offset a bit and then a little bit of the gamma correction tiny bit then go to colour balance and whatever colour you're using you want to bring it over to that side so I'm, I'm choosing cold colours so I'm going to like do the, blue, the cyan, magenta and the blue you can also increase the vibrance as well if it's not as popping as you wanted it to be so you can bring up the vibrance 
and as, as well the saturation to make it even bluer or whatever color you're using and then you just want to merge all them together with Control E. You can also do this if you create clipping mask, go to the brush tool and in certain areas just click. Um, some can be just on the edge but basically you just want to add like little glowing areas and what we're going to do is set that to overlay and yeah it looks really really nice but yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, and probably do it's a very very simple one um, but it does look extremely nice I'm going to do like a part two of this where I show you how to animate it and just top it off really uh, I can't do it in this video because it'll go on for too long but yeah I hope you did enjoy this video if you did like this video and if we break 100 likes I'll release the template to this um, and yeah 100 likes um, subscribe if you're new follow me on Twitter at TimpersHD um, there's a link in the description also my Twitch will be in the description I stream on there daily and do daily pixel art designings um, and giveaways but yeah let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next and with that all being said I hope you're all having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video